Amanda Gorman is an American poet and activist born in Los Angeles, California on March 7, 1998. She and her twin sister, Gabrielle, were raised by their mother, Joan Wicks. When she was only in the third grade, her teacher read Dandelion Wine by Ray Bradbury to the class, sparking her love and passion for poetry. As she aged, her work began to focus on issues of oppression, feminism, race, and marginalization, as well as the African diaspora. In 2014, Gorman became the founder and executive director of One Pen, One Page, an organization providing free creative writing programs for undeserved youth. She published the poetry book, The One for Whom is Not Enough, only a year later. She was 19 years old when she became the inaugural National Youth Poet Laureate of the United States on September 13, 2017. She recited her poem, In This Place, an American Lyric, at the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C., which was where 46 U.S. President Joe Biden's wife, Dr. Jill Biden, discovered her. It might feel like every story has been told before, but the truth is, no one's ever told my story in the way I would tell it, as the daughter of black writers who are descended from freedom fighters who broke the chains and changed the world. They call me. I call them. And one day, I'll write a story right by writing it into a tomorrow on this earth more than worth standing for. Since then, Jill has been a fan of her work. Amanda graduated from Harvard University with a degree in sociology in 2020. In 2021, President-elect Joe Biden invited her to read her poem, The Hill We Climb, at his inauguration ceremony on January 20th. This made her the youngest poet to have served this role. On February 7, 2021, Gorman became the first ever poet commissioned to write and perform a poem at the Super Bowl. In addition to her poetry and activism, she signed with IMG Models, a national modeling agency. Inspired by the First Lady Kamala Harris, Gorman has already declared her intent to run for president in 2036 and says she has high hopes for the future of America.